Hi, welcome to week eight. I know this says week six, but there are quite a few students that have not turned in their major essay one to the tutor yet, or give them to, them to me. I haven't seen them in the Dropbox. This is an item that must be in your portfolio, this major essay one tutor draft. It's now late. You are now failing this course. There's no need to panic, panic at this moment, but if you don't get this done correctly and submitted to me and put into your portfolio, your portfolio will not be accepted by the committee and you will not pass this course. There are three ways to get a draft. This e-tutoring organization, they'll ask you to set up a password. This is the one that I find most students use. You can get one at the SCA. This is the second most popular method. And then some people will actually go in to the SCA itself and have an in-person tutor review done. This must, whatever way you choose to submit, you must submit a single document. You cannot submit a ping of your attendance slip and the draft with some hand notes on it, that won't work. They all have to be in one file uploaded into this Dropbox so that you can receive credit. You must, again, you must receive a credit on this assignment in order to pass this course. You will save it in your UWSR portfolio as your name, draft of major essay one with tutor comments. Let's move to week eight. In week eight, you're going to submit a final draft of this major essay one. You're going to be reading about revising and editing, cause and effect and faulty parallel structure. You should review major essay one, and I would highly recommend you do this since this you're going to be working on your final draft, major essay two. You have some PowerPoints and then the weekly video lecture. I hope you're watching the analytics are going down. Uh, there's a lot of good information in here and um, I highly suggest that you watch all of these. Uh, the video about parallel structure is important because I know that there are people on the committee that this is an issue with. This is a grammar issue. I would highly suggest you watch it. Your discussion post is about effects and you're going to submit this major essay one to the Dropbox. You will complete two items for your portfolio this week. One is a clean draft of your final paper, major essay one, and the other is the Turnitin report for that draft that must be have a similarity rating of 10% or less. I would highly suggest that you review the instructions for whichever essay you're writing about if you're doing slum tourism or nature returns to the city and make sure that you're on track. One of the things that I see missing from many assignments and your tutors have also noticed is the summary of the article. You are required to write a summary of the article for each one of these prompts. Here's the instructions. I would really highly suggest that you review the instructions. You can just copy and paste the works cited page. Make sure that the fonts match your document. Your outline, I would take a look at this outline and think about whether or not your paper matches this outline. If it doesn't, I'd be very careful about what's missing or why you chose the order you did and, and to make sure that it's successful. So it says you should have an introduction paragraph with an arguable thesis statement. And again, your thesis statement answers this question. If you're doing slum tourism, these questions here, if you're doing nature in the city, your thesis answers these questions here. You have to have a summary paragraph of your chosen article. This is missing in a few of your assignments. 
uh, the portfolio committee will notice because they read this document. This document is going into your portfolio, the prompt sheets, and it is read by the committee. The committee grades this final draft. I'll give you a grade on this final draft. The committee won't know what grade I gave you. They won't have any idea that this was graded. They read this essay. They assign it a grade. So what you're going to submit to the UWSR portfolio is a clean draft of this final essay and the similarity report we will talk about in one second. So if the summary is missing, they're going to notice because they're going to have they are going to have read the prompt. They're looking for two to three body paragraphs that support the thesis. Each body paragraph should contain at least two pieces of evidence from the source article, and they should be properly cited. You need to have a counter argument to your thesis with a refutation. In other words, what do you say to people who disagree with you and the conclusion? Here's a review of the three draft process. You've already done this one. The review that I look at and make comments, this goes in your portfolio. The second draft with two tutor comments, if you haven't done it, you need to get it done right away. And you need to get this done before you turn in your final draft because you need to incorporate the comments that your tutor makes into the final draft. If you turn in three drafts that are the same, that this there's no movement from the draft first draft I make comments on to the second draft with tutor comments. If you turn in the same draft to the as the final draft, believe me, the committee is going to notice and you will receive a failing grade on your portfolio. Each one of these drafts builds on the prior. The, the comments that I gave you in this instructor draft should help you write a better tutor draft. The comments that the tutors write on this draft will help you write a better final draft. Your final draft should be between 800 and 1,000 words, and your similarity rating should be 10% or less. So your Dropbox here, you can see the Dropbox is a Turnitin Dropbox that you're going to submit this paper to and your similarity rating needs to be 10% or less. Here's instructions, a video on how to view and download your report. If your Turnitin similarity report rating is 20%, you're gonna to have to revise your paper because you have to get it down under 10. It, one of the things that the people who review this paper in the committee do, they check the Turnitin report. If it's 20%, they just simply put your portfolio aside and move on to the next one and you will have automatically failed. Here's how to do this, you know, just a step-by-step -step process. So your Turnitin report cannot exceed 10% of the essay. So it says you are permitted to use a brief amount of quotes in your paper. However, the use of quotes must not exceed 10% of the essay. In other words, someone else can write 10% of your essay. So the source is basically writing your paper for you. If your paper is over the limit, you will have to revise it to reduce source dependency and resubmit it to turn it in or risk receiving a lower grade or even a no credit on the paper. If you get a no credit on the paper, you won't pass the course, you won't pass the committee. If you're at about 11%, uh, email me. I can take a look and see um, how to reduce it. And it says failure to provide a copy of the Turnitin report or the required number of drafts. So you need to have the required number of drafts, which is the instructor draft, the tutor draft, the final draft, or a works cited page of sources will result in a no credit on the paper and no credit on the portfolio. So you don't want to do all this work and have it rejected because you didn't do this right. You have three attempts on this paper to get it this, the similarity rating down under 10%. The Dropbox will accept three different uh, attempts at this. Your discussion post this week is about effects. So it says, you're reaching the end of the first multi-draft paper. Whew, let's think about effects for a moment. Tell your readers what effect nature has on your neighborhood or what effect slum tourism has on the people who live in those slums. Is it good, bad? What do you want your readers to do, if anything, about neighborhood nature or neighborhood slums. Does this kind of sound like a call to action? 
because it kind of is. So let's write a conclusion for this essay that leaves your readers feeling good about reading your essay. What advice might you give your cohorts 